Hello, Donuts. Today we are going to be reacting to Mean Girls. Oh, I'm so ready for this one. This is apparently like an iconic movie for the girls out there, so I'm excited to watch this for the first time. Apparently, there's loads of stuff that hasn't aged well in this movie, so stick around for that and let's get into it. This is your lunch, okay? Now I put a dollar in there so you can buy some milk. You can ask one of the big kids where to do that. Do you remember your phone number? These look like two very stand up parents. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, a parents' evening. You know the troubled kids would look at parents like this and be like, wow, they would fix all of my issues. I bet they would love me. They would give me a quid for the ice cream man. I'm looking at you, ma'am. Just once wouldn't it hurt. You ready? <laughs> I think so. Where was she there? Why, was she on her, was she knelt down? Was she like praying? Why did she just pop up? <laughs> I guess it's natural for parents to cry on their kids' first day of school. Sorry, couple of things, right? Every parent does this, don't they? Like the first day of year seven, they're like, right, right, go on, stand against the wall. Go on, I need a photo of you. Need a photo of you. You're standing there with like a blazer that's ten times too big for you. It's gonna last you all five years. Also, what school is she going to? This woman looks like she's been through the whole box set of sex in the city. She looks about 30. What school? she going to? I'm 16, and until today, I was home. Sorry, you're 16. She is not 16. Come on. A bit of realism, mean girl. 16? 16? At a push 17? Both my parents are research zoologists, and we spent the last 12 years in Africa. But then my mom got off her tenure at Northwestern University. <laughs> Oh my god, like the first day of school and you're 16 and you're getting dropped off by your parents. That is, in the UK, that's like social suicide. At 16, imagine getting dropped off at the gate and they're like, <laughs> have a great day. Make sure you eat all your ice gems in your park lunchbox. I don't know if anyone told you about me. I'm a new student here. My name is Katie here. Talk to me again and I'll kick your ass. Sorry, a little bit of main character energy there. Uh, I don't know if anyone told you about me. The girl that plays with lions in Africa. Probably. What? People don't do that, right? Like, the thing happens if there's, like, a new girl. Like, you find out on the day. People don't, like, normally talk about them the week before. Unless, like, Michael Jackson was coming to your school when he was in the Jackson 5. Maybe he'd get a little bit of a talking about. But not the girl that played with giraffes. Hey, everybody. Oh! Not the donuts! Miss Norberry? My t-shirt's stuck to my sweater, isn't it? As if. Don't you hate it in geography where your teacher just strips down to a bra? Really, can you just teach us about corrosion, love? I don't want to see your bloody boobs. We have a uh, new student joining us. She just moved here all the way from Africa. Welcome! I'm from Michigan. Oh my god. Jesus. Sorry, that just caught us off guard. I was not expecting that from the teacher. I think you need to increase the strength of your glasses. Spec savers has done you dirty there. I got in trouble for the most random things. Where are you going? Oh, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Nice try. Have a seat. Isn't that one of the strangest things about school, though? You had to ask to go to the toilet. Like, what do you mean? Can I just go for a piss? Like, why have I got to put my hand up and ask? Like, I just need to relieve myself, love. Do you want me to piss myself in front of you? Jumbo! <laughs> Oh what? my good god. Oh my god. Mean girls. I don't even think she's meant to be the mean girl, but Christ. I've actually been to Africa four times, guys. Don't want to brag. Right, I actually went to Egypt when a certain group, a naughty group, were doing their naughty things to people's heads. My family just found a really cheap holiday around that time, so that was great. I'm not even kidding. Nelly lost your head on holiday, but hey, at least you get two weeks in the sun. Is that your natural hair color? Yeah. Gorgeous. See, this is the color I want. This is Damien. He's almost too gay to function. What does that mean? He's almost too gay to function. <laughs> is that a thing? He just can't go a second without watching Drag Race. It's mental. Nice wig, Janice. What's it made of? Your mom's chest hair. I'm Janice. Hi, I'm Katie. Can't lie, Janice's style's pretty cool. Like, that, that would fit today. How do you spell your name again, Katie? It's Katie. C-A-D-Y. Why can nobody pronounce Katie in this film? Like, why is Katie such a weird name? What is it, Katie? k k t r k k k n e Like, what's wrong with the name Katie? There's been loads of good Katies. All right, I'll name them. Katie Price. Katie Taylor. Katie... Yeah, I've run out. Of course, all the plastics are in the same gym class. Who are the plastics? They're teen royalty. Oh, are these the that mean one girls? That's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. Oh my god, she's so dumb, she can't even catch. <laughs> she's so dumb. Don't feel like that relates. You know, Stephen Hawking couldn't catch, I imagine. Maybe he could, I'd never tried to throw a ball to him, but he was smart. That little one, that's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad invented toaster strudel. And evil takes a human form in Regina George. I've heard of the name Regina George, right, without watching this movie. So she must be quite an iconic character. This is to me early prediction. Are them three that they've mentioned, are they like the, the mean girls? And this girl is like the head of the mean girls, I imagine. Inspector Morse over here, guys. Love it. Doing a lunchtime survey of new students. Can you answer a few questions? Okay. Is your muffin buttered? 
What? Would you like us to assign someone to butter your muffin? Americans are so odd. Like, sorry if you are American, and I know this is a movie, but that would just never be said in the UK. Is your muffin buttered? <laughs> <laughs> Got it there, guys. No jam, actually. It's my time of the month. If you're asking, oh, oh I've kind of, oh. You do not come to a party at my house with Gretchen and then scam on some. Oh, they're right sticking, sticking up for her. This is how we get the connection. Bye, Jason. <laughs> Bitch. Wait, sit down. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't ditch your friends. Don't. I'm new. I just moved here from Africa. So you've actually never been to a real school before? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, she's so patronizing. This is gonna ruin the whole trajectory of this movie. I guess that is the point. It's called Mean Girls, but still, she's gonna be like her little project, isn't she? She's gonna like pretend to like her. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my God, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. How many jokes is there? How many race jokes? Who is the director of this movie? Yeah, of course it's a guy called Mark Waters. Of course it is. There's just 50 white guys in a boardroom like, guys, this movie's good, but I think we need a bit more racial jokes, okay? We want to invite you to have lunch with us every day for the rest of the week. No, say no. So we'll see you tomorrow. No, say no, On Katie. Wednesdays we wear pink. Regina seems sweet. No, she doesn't. She doesn't seem sweet. You can tell by her face that just me. What are you doing? She's patronizing. She thinks you're like a little project. She's a scum sucking road horse. She ruined my life. She's fabulous, but she's evil. Hey, get out of here. Oh my god, Danny DeVito, I love your work. <laughs> I got that car salesman hands. Hey, I'm walking over here. It's the only things I know that Danny DeVito says. Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Oh, here we go. Um, here we go. He has the love interest. Why do they always do this in, like, these chick flicks? You know, when, like, a boy turns around, why does he always turn around like this? The love interest. He's like, hey, do you have a pen? Really? It's always the guy with the same haircut as well. It's like a fringe just paralyzes girls in these movies. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. If you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. Jesus Christ. Imagine this being your friendship group. Like, there was rules in your friendship group. Christ. I couldn't do it, me. I couldn't do it. Like, in my friendship group, people just kind of say how much they want to shag each other's moms. That's kind of the only rule, that you don't actually do it. Have you seen any guys that you think you're cute yet? His name's Aaron Samuel. <gasps> no. 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 Oh no, you can't like Aaron Samuels. That's Regina's ex-boyfriend. Okay, so now we have our first issue. She's gonna, Katie's gonna go for Aaron Samuels and then I believe that she will get in uh, an argument with Regina and then Regina's gonna try and make her life hell. Have I predicted this movie already? Hopefully on the right track. Even though I wasn't allowed to like Aaron, I was still allowed to look at him. Not creepy at all, love, don't worry. I'll just Talk follow him. him. Hey, Eric. Hey, you're the Africa girl, right? I'm Kevin Apoor, captain of the North Shore Mathletes. We participate in math challenges against other high schools around the state. You should think about joining. Ugh, God. The mathletes. Like, even if I was good at maths, I'm sorry, I'm not joining the mathletes. Like, if you're part of the mathletes group in your school, well done. But I just wouldn't have the confidence for that. I feel like the school bullies would just stare at me with hate. I feel like they'd just always want to punch us if I was part of the mathletes. Oh my god, whose house is this? Whose castle does this belong to? Is this Saltburg? It's like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Wow, your house is really nice. I know, right? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Gosh, there always was one bread that had parents that thought they were really cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you were like 16, they'd be like, does anyone want to play Cluedo? Should we just fuck around and play Cluedo? You're like, no, let's not do that. This is your room? It was my parents' room. But I made them trade me. Sorry, that's your bedroom. That's like where King Henry VIII would sleep. What do you mean that's your bedroom? That's insane. Like, if you move out, you're just going to downgrade. If that was my bedroom in my parents' house, I'm never moving out. Just quickly, I want to say that 66.1% of you mean girls have not subscribed to this channel. Oh, you're so mean. How could you be so mean? If you want more movie reviews like this and videos all of the time, I'm going to be uploading like twice a week on this channel. So you've got videos to binge when you're bored. Press subscribe. And yeah, let's get back. Back to the video. My hairline is so weird. My pores are huge. My nail beds suck. I have really bad breath in the morning. Ew. <laughs> I wonder if this movie actually made girls, like, self-conscious of themselves. Like, I wonder if all them things they mentioned, if girls went, E, do I have that? E, is my hairline back? Oh, no, I'm gonna have to buy some caffeine shampoo. It's our burn book. We cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook, and then we wrote comments. Don Schweitzer is a fat virgin. These are awful. These people are awful. Who is that? I think that's that kid, Damien. Yeah, he's almost too gay to function. <laughs> that's funny. Put that in there. Hey, that's funny. Chat. Clip that. Can somebody clip that? Clip that, chat. God, she's just stole someone's joke. The worst type of person. Why are you changing yourself, Katie? What happened to your African roots, Katie? God, you're changing yourself for these twats. And they have this book, this burn book, where they write mean things about all the girls in our grade. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Pose. 
bitches. <laughs> Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. Let me just tell you something about Aaron. All he cares about is school and his mom and his friends. God, what an idiot. Why doesn't he just care about me and my burn book? Also, is it not a bit odd? Right, like, look at the start of this. The way they've set her up here, you can tell the director of this was a middle-aged guy. Why have they tried to, like, set her up, like, seductively like this? Like a short top on, stuff like this? This girl's meant to be in school. Why are you trying to make her look like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? I'm totally lost. Can you help me? But I wasn't lost. Yeah. I knew exactly what Miss Norbury was talking about. It's a factorial, so you multiply each one by n. Wrong. He was so wrong. Is this how people flirted back in the day? Would people just like whisper in people's ear? Sin goes down. I'm gonna help you find X so hard. <laughs> Worst ASMR ever. I'm gonna show you Pythagoras' dick. Duh. Wonder what the angles of that look like. We're having a Halloween party at my friend Chris's tonight. You wanna come? Yeah. Sure. It's a costume party. People get pretty into it. What is she going to wear? I want to see what she's going to wear for the Halloween party. Halloween is when children dress up in costumes and beg for candy. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> like, yes. 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 Of course you should wear something funny. Okay, but I know that everyone else in this movie is going to wear something like this. Something that is supposedly sexy. And she's going to come dressed as a fucking bin or something. No one told me about the slut rule. So I showed up like Oh, this. no. Oh, she looks cool though. She got teeth like me. Hey. Oh. She doesn't look that bad, does she? Oh. Hey. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Do you know what? Genuinely though, if I'm at this party, I'm going to speak to her on the left. These kind of people intimidate us, I can't lie. Like girls that dress like this are just like, if I was single, I'd be like, yeah, there's, they're, they're just not interested in me. I'd be like, I want to go for the one that looks like she's got like tombstone teeth. What? He's a good kisser. He's your cousin. Yeah, but he's my first cousin. Right. There's so many people. Why do you need to shag your cousin? You made it. And you are a zombie bride. Hey. No, Aww. Regina. Regina, you give Katie the pass. Stay out of this. Oh, she's, this is where she's going to start ruining her life. It's going to start from here. I can see it. You know that girl, Katie? Yeah, she's cool. I invited her tonight. Well, be careful because she has a huge crush on you. <gasps> e the little twat. She's meant to be your friend. You can't do that. She's trying to play hard to get. She's playing very hard to get at the minute, coming as the ex wide dead bride, right? That's the ultimate hard to get right there. She just couldn't stand that like this guy would fancy someone else that isn't her. She's like a little girl. She like writes all over her notebook, Mrs. Aaron Samuels. And she made this t-shirt that says I heart Aaron. No, she didn't, you little bullshitter. No, she didn't. I'm not saying she's a stalker, but she saved this Kleenex you used. And she said she's gonna do some kind of African voodoo with it to make you like her. God. <laughs> she's gonna do some sort of African voodoo? Like, what does that even mean? Yeah, you know, they're always fucking doing Voodoo in Africa. It's the rave over there. <laughs> How could Janice hate Regina? She was such a good. <gasps> what? The little twat. She's so basic. She thinks she's different. She's got bunny ears on. What a basic bastard. That's like a guy coming dressed as a skeleton. You just don't do it. Why you get so sexy pushback. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy pushback? Regina was dangling Aaron in front of me on purpose. If that was me, Whoa. I'd be like, no, don't push my hair like that. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> I love that they're constantly portraying Africa as <laughs> just lions and animals just constantly everywhere you go. It's given like like a such a like a, a, a specific image of Africa here. That is cranberry juice is making me break out. Wait, I have this really good skin stuff I'll bring you. We kept our eyes open for opportunities for sabotage. Oh my god. This is odd. Why don't you just punch her in the face? I would I would not like to be a girl. The way when if they like are fighting, they can like twist. Like it's so much more mentally confusing. With lads, like they end up just fighting. Whereas girls will just ruin each other mentally. You know, it's so much more dark. Are they all gonna wear them now? I knew it. I knew it. I called it. This movie's predictable. I knew it. I said straight away. I wish I was the cool kid in school. I wish I could make receding hairlines cool, right? People are just trying to chop their edges of their hair so they could be like me. That would have been so cool. I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Oh, that's nice. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Oh my god, she's such a bitch. That wasn't that bad. That was a nice skirt. I do think some people like go to vintage shops. Like, I think it's mostly like raw people. You know, like people that are raws. They like live in vintage shops, don't you? Like, if you're a raw, you love vintage. Like, it's like it goes in hand in hand. So, are you gonna send any candy canes? I don't send them, I just get them. <laughs> love ya. I was definitely sending her one. <laughs> 
Candy cane grounds. Okay. Is this actually a thing in schools? Because I actually think that's quite cute. You can anonymously send the girl you like a candy cane. I would be all over that. I'd be sending them to everybody. I'd be sending 10 candy canes out. I'd be saving me money up. I'd be like, I'm going to have 10 girls. They'll never know who I am, but as long as they're enjoying the taste of it, that'll make my day happy. Oh, Katie, here you go. One for you. Um, and none for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Ha, nobody loves you. Unlucky. Thanks for being such a great friend. Love, Regina. That's so sweet. <gasps> oh, they're killing them from the inside. I love it. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell swing. Wait, is this, you know that Chris Jenner video where it's like, you're doing great, sweetie? Is this, is this, is this where it's from? I've just realised this looks like the exact same thing. My life's come full circle. Also, this is weird. Why? Like, look at all of the, look at the crowd. Like, look at this guy. He's trying to look anywhere but at their bums. Good man. They're in school, for Christ's sake. Like, this guy's enjoying it too much. Justin Bieber over here. You're enjoying this too much, my friend. So is this guy. What are you doing, you creep? Look away. Specs over here. He's having a good look. He's pointing. This guy with the grey hair. Jesus. You pervs in the crowd. Oh, remix? Come on, then. I'm sorry, but what? Who is she? Cristiano Ronaldo? That speaker would weigh so much. How did she manage to just kick it straight in his face? Oh my god. I don't even think a bodybuilder could kick that. And she did it in high heels as well. Wow, what a queen. What a bright time. It's the right time to rock the night away. Mix and mingle and jingle and beat. See, if this was in the UK, right, you'd just have the entire school. Like, they wouldn't join in to help them. They'd just be like, <laughs> look at those knobheads. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. In the UK, you the confidence is just beaten out of you. No friendship group in the UK, like, being 16 would have the confidence to do this on stage. I'm sorry. This is such an American thing. That was awesome. Uh, lip gloss. Hey, good job. <laughs> Thanks. Blushing. Damn, that's why she wanted to join the mathletes. It wasn't for the equations. It was for that math day. That's what she wanted. And I thought that she just liked equations. How wrong could have been, guys? Just trying to find X on that boy's penis. And you know she cheats on Aaron. She's hooking up with Shane Oman in the projection room above the auditorium. Jackpot. Gretchen's secret had put the plan back in motion. I don't know whose side I'm on. They're both morally bad. The two friends of Regina are actually probably the, the, the nicest, I guess. Like, Regina's obviously a bit of a bellend. Katie is also also a bit of a bellend because she's just ruining like innocent people's lives. Just anything to take down Regina. She's not worried about innocent civilians in this situation. Oh Christ, we're in uh, grey boxers, are we? That's a little bit risky, we all know. Right, if you're a guy, you're wearing grey boxers. You go for a piss, you dribble a little bit, oh. Right, it's there for the whole world to see. That's your life over. Grey boxers are a no-no, we all know that. I hear Regina George is dating Aaron Samuels again. The two were seen canoodling at Chris Iso's Halloween party. And they've been in Can't lie, this is kind of, that slow-mo walk's kind of going hard. Can't lie, that's kind of like cold. Like, that is such main character energy. Imagine walking through your school, through everyone like this. I don't know why that would be. That would be my main character, Mo. I'm not the main character. I'm I'm a side character in my own life, guys. I spend about 80% of my time talking about Regina. I have this theory that if you cut all her hair off, she'd look like a British man. What does that mean? What does that mean, she'd look like a British man? Are you trying to insinuate that British men are ugly? Look at this. Fair, fair point. How'd you do? Not so good. You know, I think I need a tutor. I'll tutor you if you ever want to get together after school or something. Do you think Regina would mind? Well, maybe we just won't tell her. He's a little bit of an arsehole as well, though, isn't he? You know, if I had a girlfriend in school and they were tutoring a boy and didn't tell us, I'd be like, you little arsehole. Why are they on your Snapchat best friends? Oh, you're tutoring them, are you? Ah, just twist the knife further in me back. Well, the first time I did it, I got a zero. Wrong. But then when I checked it, I got one. There you go. Well, you're a good tutor. <laughs> e. Okay, one thing I will admit with this movie. This is a great movie. This is a great fucking movie. Katie, the character development from when she came from Africa to now is tremendous. I didn't think she had it in her, but she does. The situation was hard, so she became hard herself. Love it, Katie. Why do you like her? I know she can be really mean sometimes, but... Then why do you like her? Why do you? She's cheating on you. <gasps> Go on, lass. She would do the same to you. She tried to ruin your life, so let's ruin hers. I don't know whose team I'm on here. I keep flipping. Now I'm on fuck for G Regina. Somebody told him about Shane Oman. Who? He said some guy on the baseball team. I gave him everything. I was half a virgin when I met him. What does that mean? You were half a virgin? What, did somebody just, like, kind of half? Kind of put it... It. How does that work? How do you become half a virgin? I was mildly horrified when Aaron didn't immediately ask me to be his girlfriend. Regina had moved on. <laughs> 
guys need anything? Some snacks? Condoms? No. Oh my Jesus, that is too close. That's not even, that's, 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 oh, that's awkward. I'm surprised you didn't go and just give her a tap on the back. Well done, love. Keep going. Do you want some snacks? Anything from the trolley? Possibly a fruit. Keep them calcium levels up. I need your parents to sign this so they know that you're failing. Katie, I know that having a boyfriend may seem like the most important thing in the world right now, but you don't have to dumb yourself down to get guys to like you. How do you know? I know. How would I know, right? I'm divorced. I'm broke from getting divorced. The only guy that ever calls my house is Randy from Chase Visa. Do you know what? Underrated character. This teacher, I don't know, she has like layers to her character. Like, she's funny. Like, her lines are great, but she's also quite, like, deep as well. Like, she's got the most well-rounded character, in my opinion. Like, I think she's probably the best in the entire show. They've, like, really worked on it. They should have included her more, though. Let's go out. Okay, hold on. I'm on the other line with Gretchen. Don't invite cool. Gretchen. She's driving me nuts. Hold on. Okay, hurry up. It's Regina. She wants to hang out with me tonight, but she told me not to tell you. Do not hang out with her. Okay, so these three are talking to each other, and Regina's on the line with just one of them. Oh my god, she's so annoying. Who is? Who's this? Gretchen. Right, hold on. This is the worst friendship group ever. These are not friends. These are all just enemies trying to like one up each other. Like this is such a toxic friendship group. If my friends were like this, I would just hate my life. I don't care if you're seen as cool from other people. What's the point in seeming cool from other people if you hate your life? Gina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So that's against the rules and you can't sit with us. These sweatpants are all that fits me right now. I can't believe they're saying that this girl is fat. Like, look at her. This is so bad. <laughs> You can walk home, bitches. That's where you're going, fat ass. <laughs> I love how, like, back then, like, having a fat ass was, like, a bad thing, whereas now it's, like, praised. <laughs> People love having a fat ass now, but then it was, like, awful. It's so weird how it kind of just flipped. It's weird how, like, people, like, kind of prioritize, like, certain things of a lass's body. Will people prefer to have smaller bums, like, in 10 years? Like, is it gonna go back to that? It's so weird how that works. Who decides that as well? Like, where does that even come from? Was I the new queen bee? I had learned how to control everyone around me. I'm having a small get-together at my house tomorrow night. That's Regina Collie. No, do you think I'm an idiot? No, it's just gonna be a few cool people. Oh, Katie. Katie's lost herself. Just went mad with power. The sweet girl from Africa's gone. Now she's just Regina. She's just basically replaced Regina. It's like, you know, in Harry Potter where they put the Horcrux around them. It's like she's wearing the Horcrux now. She's like so unlikable. What happened? We need Regina to come back and like slay Katie. And then Regina can go back to being Regina and then we get Katie back. Because where's Janice? We need more Janice in this movie. Somehow the word had gotten out about my small get together. Jason is here with Taylor Waddell. Dude, we'll back in Monkey chair. Katie, all these people were horrible to you when you first came to this school. That guy asked if you buttered your muffins. Why have you invited him to your party, love? Right, why do you want to impress these people? These people are pricks. She thinks she's gonna have a party and not invite me? Who does she think she is? I, like, invented her, you know what I mean? <laughs> this guy, by the way, like, what is he called? Is it, is it Aaron? The guy that, like, Regina and Katie both like? This guy has no mind of his own. It's like, the only person he likes is whoever's the most popular. Like, this guy's so basic. Why are they fighting over for this guy. This guy offers nothing. He's never made us laugh once. What does he have? Surely there's somebody else that can rival this man. Why do they all fancy him? Oh my god, they're drinking punch. That's so red, man. I wish I had a house party with punch. Gretchen came to talk to me. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I only date women of color. Unlucky. You thought you were getting that math leap, Willy? He only dates people of color. You out the loop. Hey. Hey. I've been looking for you everywhere. Thanks for getting me to come out tonight. Yeah, sure, no problem. Don't I'm kiss this guy. He's not worth it. I pretended to be bad at math so that you'd help me. Wait, you're failing on purpose? That's stupid. You know, I, I just wanted a reason to talk to you. So why don't you just talk to me? Because of Regina. Because you were her, her property. Her property. You are just like a clone of Regina. Oh my god, this dialogue is just painful. I actually think this is a really good movie, but just this little bit of dialogue is painful. It's just... Oh. You know what? You're the one who made me like this so you could use me for your 8th grade revenge. At least me and Regina George know we're mean. You try Slea to act Janice. like so. It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. You think that everybody is in love with you when actually everybody hates you. Yes, Janice. Drunk the bitch. Go on, love. Put her in a place. He still doesn't want you. So why are you still messing with Regina, Katie? I'll tell you why. Because you are a mean girl. You're a bitch. <gasps> and I want my pink shirt back. I want my pink shirt back. Do you get it, guys? He wants his pink shirt back because he's gay. Remember that from earlier in the movie? He probably forgot. Like, why did he need to shout that? Do they think we've got dementia? We know. I can't trust anyone anymore. Why are you eating a Coltine bar? 
Coach Carr makes us eat those when we want to move up a weight class. What? They make you gain weight like crazy. I'm sorry, right? But Regina, you're at fault for this. You know, the only thing you've changed is eating these bars now you've put on weight. Could, could you not have realised earlier maybe the bars aren't helping you lose weight? Also, could you not just have asked someone? Just read the label. It tells you how much fat's in it. I know that the plastics and they're meant to be stupid, but Regina's like character is like smart. Like she knows how to like use people, right? She's she's like clever. So surely she would have worked this out before. I know it's a movie, but I'm just trying to say for like how they're building her character. <laughs> That's literally me when I go to Nando's with friends and order extra hot just to impress them. Like, that is literally me straight after one bite. It's like PTSD when you go to the toilet late. It's just ring stink central. Sorry, guys. Exposing a bit too much there. This girl is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever met. Yeah, that's that's what I would do if I found out someone had been lying to us about what's in some chocolate bars. I would go home and write it in my book and stick a photo of her just in case I forget who did it. Oh! I what? found it in the girls' bathroom. It's so mean, Mr. Duvall. Oh! See, this is what I mean. She's smart. She's smarter than me. Like, how did she not figure out that about the bat and the bars earlier? That's so smart. I love it now. What? We've got 28 minutes left. The villain arc. This is what I've been waiting for this entire movie. Now Katie's at the high rocky. Now it's time for Regina to take her down. Katie Heron, I want to see you in the principal's office. In here, Miss Heron. <gasps> that lock. That's such a good woman. What's going on? Have a seat, Miss Heron. Do you know what? This happened to me in school, right? I remember this, right? There was someone that was bullying me in school. And then they told the teacher that I was bullying them. And then I got told off. But then they were the bully. And even though I told the teacher, they didn't believe us. Sorry, guys. Just trauma dumping on you there. Still annoyed about that. You better get your story straight, Miss Heron, because I'm not messing around here. It's not ours. It's Regina's. Yeah, she's trying to make it look like we wrote it. But really, she wrote it. Miss Wieners, why would Regina refer to herself as a fugly slut? You're a head teacher, right? You're clearly smart. You've worked your way up to this position. Surely you just think, oh, we'll check the handwriting of all of these people and then we'll realize that, oh, this is Regina's handwriting. Like, surely that just solves it. If two people are saying different things, that's the one thing you can draw to. The people in this movie are idiots. Nice. Kill it. How many trees did you kill for this? Don Schweitzer has a huge ass. Who would write that? Love the huge ass is probably the least of your worries, right? If anything, that's uh, you know well done. Probably say the bonnet. Bonnet's a little bit controversial in my opinion. Kind of giving Karen vibes here. Not for me. Hey, settle down. All right, hey. No, you do not push and shut out. I feel like she's the only normal person in this. I feel like the teacher is like you know like Jim in the office. Like she's the only person that is like you would get on with. Everyone else in this movie I could not be friends with. Whereas the teacher seems so. Kind of boss energy here. Kind of bad bitch in it to be fair. A wise man once said. Right and I'm gonna switch it up. Some women just wanna watch the world burn. And Regina George is one of those women. It's like you know that, that meme where the dog is just sitting in that room with loads of fire. And he's like this is fine. This is Regina George right now. What's fault oh. help jungle madness? <laughs> Would this be the reaction? I feel like the, a Royal Rumble wouldn't come out. I feel like, I feel like you just have a couple of people crying. I don't feel like you would have a full on scrap in the hallway. Now what the young ladies in this grade need is an attitude makeover. What is this vest by the way? He definitely goes home and just starts swinging. One Stella and him, night over. So who has a lady problem that they like to talk about? Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I use super jumbo tampons, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Okay. Okay, that's you're starting off so strong with that issue. Jesus Christ, could we not have eased into it? Like someone was talking behind someone's back. Jesus. Yeah, I can't do this. Miss Norberry, you're a successful, intelligent, caring, great. Miss Norberry, you have a vagina. I saw my young cat without my eye. Mind you, can't be my tongue and try to down your hunting mind. I'm only my hum yum now. Did she need to say that word? I don't even think she can say that word, can she? I don't know who gave her a pass to use that word. But that wasn't even, like, that was in purely for comedy. But it doesn't land. The director of this film has, needs to pay for these scribes. And some of us shouldn't have to take this workshop because some of us are just victims in this situation. How many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Regina George? Katie, do you have anything you want to own up to? Have you got a heavy flow, Katie? You never made up a rumor about anybody? 
No. I'm really disappointed in you, Katie. She hit her with the, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Oh, damn. We've got to stop calling each other sluts and whores. It just makes it okay for guys to call you sluts and whores. This teacher is actually mint. She's so slay. Oh, I want her to be my teacher. She's got such a good character, like her lines. There's never one bit where you're like, uh, she's just constantly hits it. I have this friend who... She's a new student this year. I convinced her that it would be fun to mess up Regina George's life. She made out with Regina's boyfriend and then convinced him to break up with her. Oh god. It is actually really dark. Katie's actually a bit of a bell end, really, isn't she? Katie is the mean girl. At least like everyone knows she's a bastard. But like Katie's like trying to act as if she's nice when really she's actually probably she's probably on the same level as Regina. Regina, stop! You know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. So don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy. <laughs> and that's how Regina George died. Well, that was a curveball. She just got hit by a fucking b What? Why have they put that in? Surely she's not dead. She, surely that's been imagined. No, I'm totally kidding. But she did get hurt. Some girls say they saw her head go all the way around. But that's just a rumor. Some people swear they saw me push her in front of the bus. That was an even worse rumor. Why have they done that? Why did they do that? That, that added nothing to the plot. They just went, ah, actually, you know what? Just to give, like, everyone a little bit of justice, we'll just hit her with the bus. Like, at least, like, I don't know, say she had, like, an allergic reaction to one of those bars that, like, paralyzed her. I would have believed that more. But by a bloody bus. There was so many witnesses that would have seen that she didn't actually push her in front of the bus. Is everybody in this school an idiot? Everybody saw what happened. That book was written by a bunch of stupid girls who make up rumors because they're bored with their own lame lives. Well, unless someone wants to come forward and say I made it all up, this is how we have to handle it. Go on, love. Stand up. Mr. Duval, I wrote it. You know what, Katie just wants to be the main character. She always got to be the center of attention. Like, why is she trying to be the white knight here? This isn't her, like, owning up to all our mistakes. This is her being like, yeah, I wrote it. Look at me owning up and saving the teacher's job. I, I'm not I'm not giving her credit for this. When you get bit by a snake, you're supposed to suck the poison out. That's what I had to do. Suck all the poison out of my life. I started with Regina, who is living proof that the more people are scared of you, the more flowers you get. Why is she paralyzed? This has been a good movie until the end. The end, they've just went, fuck it. Let's just go off script. Let's just, right, I tell you what, we'll put, we'll just put this in a random generator and whatever it says, that's how we end the movie. I gotta say, watching the police search my house really was the cherry on top of a fantastic Year. I'm sorry. I forgive you. But as my own personal form of punishment, I figured out how you're gonna earn that extra credit. You're gonna suck this guy's dick. Oh no, she's gonna join the mathletes. I have no clue what is going on anymore. This is this is ending so weirdly. You nervous? Yes. Don't be. You can do this. There's nothing to break your focus, because not one of those Marymount boys is cute. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the <laughs> Illinois High School Mathlete State she's Champion. Funny. All you can do in life is try to solve the problem in front of you. The limit is negative one. That answer is incorrect. We are in a sudden death. The limit does not exist. Our new state champions, the North Shore Mathletes. I know I've said this, but this movie was great until the end. And the ending, it just seems like they've just tried to fit everything and cram everything in at the end. The ending of this movie has disappointed me. And your spring fling queen, future co-chair of the Student Activities Board, and winner of two gift certificates to the Walker Brothers Pancake House, Katie Heron. <gasps> what? Where is Kate? He's still got the bloody cast on. This has been years. Why is he still got the cast on? That hand's never healing. No matter what happens now, he's just gonna wear that until he dies. How has she done that then? But isn't this um, student voted? Well, half the people in this room are mad at me. Oh no, she's gonna make some sort of speech about how much she's grew over the past year and realized all her mistakes and now she just wants to be nice. Is this what's gonna happen? So, why is everybody stressing over this thing? It's just plastic. She's gonna give it to really Regina. Just Oh, she broke it! What? That's awful! What? A piece for Gretchen Wieners, partial spring fling queen. Oh, this is cringe. This is cringe. A piece cringe. for Janice Ian. Guys, so the moral of the story is actually we're all queens, right? No matter if you're a prick, if you're a lesbian, or if you're just a follower of a prick, or if you push someone in front of a bus, no matter what, you're a queen. What? Is that the moral of this story? She fractured her spine and she still looks like a rock star. She fractured a spine. That must be the quickest recovery of that ever. You get a piece of a crown. You get a piece of a crown. What is she, fucking Oprah? God, Mr. Duval, can you wrap it up? All right, have a good time, everyone.
The teachers like Katie, like, the school hardly has any funding. Like, we have to buy another crown now, so well done. Right, your little speech went down well. But you owe us a ten, I love. Hey, didn't think you'd make it. What? Drink. They're gonna be together now? <laughs> After all that? Well, so she was a prick the whole movie, lied to him, but now it's okay because she's good at maths and won the prom queen? This is an odd plot, isn't it? The whole movie was great, but then the end, they've just made it, like, kind of corny. Regina's spine healed, and her physical therapist taught her to channel all her rage into sports. <laughs> I can't lie, Regina George fell off. I liked it when Regina was on top. That was my favorite part of the movie because she, she had so much swagger. She was kind of like iconic. I didn't like the, the Regina kind of falling off or wasn't for me. I had gone from homeschool jungle freak to shiny plastic to most hated person in the world to actual human being. All the drama from last year just wasn't important anymore. Why are they kissing? When did that happen? When was that ever alluded to in the movie? They had no chemistry at all. Hey, check it out, Junior Plastics. And if any freshman tried to disturb that piece, are they gonna get hit by a bus? We knew how to take care of it. I- It's so obvious! I knew it! I literally called it! Like, I saw it as soon as that happened, I was like, yeah, bus is gonna hit them. Can someone do a check on these bus drivers? Or, girls, just look left and right, it's like a basic thing you learn when you're basically born. Oh, okay, they dodged it. Okay, fair. So she just dreamed that they got hit by the bus. This woman is insane. Okay, I'm gonna, overall, I'm gonna give Mean Girls. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. It could have been a 10 out of 10, but the, the ending kind of knocked two off it. Great movie. Regina George, slay. Okay, if you would like to watch me do another movie review, click right here. Or if you want to watch another video from me on the Mario Yaks channel, click right here.